This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This program keeps track of money collected and tickets sold for a performance. There are three variables already created that store the cost of an adult, child, and senior ticket. Yep, adult, child, senior. Got it. Run the program to see how it works. Make sure the click make sure to click all three buttons. Yeah, it seems like there's going to be an issue with child and senior price. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do this a bit fast because when we watch it run through, it's showing us. Okay, so let me click adult. Okay, so that one works. And then child. Senior. Oh, so senior, let's see. Yeah, it runs senior and it plays the sound. It runs child and it plays the sound, but they don't have the rest of their code. Adult does though, right there. Okay. And notice that if I play this slower, you can watch. When does it add to it? Not there, boom. And that's when it goes up. We can see when the code's working. All right, add code to make child and senior buttons work. They should increase the total number of tickets sold and the total number of money collected. Use the code adult as a guide. All right, let's see. So we need our child button to work. Well, first we're gonna take tickets, which is declared up here, right? We're gonna say tickets equals tickets plus one. So that's easy enough. We don't need var, just like we saw on the last puzzle. We're gonna use tickets equals tickets plus one. We don't need var because tickets is already declared. Okay, so now I just added one to my ticket if they click that button. What's our next step? Oh, well, yeah, we want to increase the dollar amount. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, dollars is what they're using for the total amount of money where we've gotten. So dollars right here, it's already declared. We don't need var, you only need that once. Same idea here. Dollars is going to be equal to whatever it used to be equal to plus what? Well, look at this, adult price. Do we want adult price? No, we want child price child price. So now we'll add that amount of money, whatever dollars used to be equal to, plus the child price is the new amount of dollars. Now we're not going to be able to see this yet, right? We create, we added it to the variable, but on the screen is still the old info. So we want to grab the dollars label. And if we hover over it, notice dollars label is the ID. So we're going to say, hey, computer, grab the uh, whatever's ID it is dollars label, get the text of it and change it to this. So UI set property, let's do dollars label text and set it to, well, the new amount. So we would need the S or the S, the dollar sign in quotes. You do not want the word dollars in quotes because then it will print out the actual word dollars. We want it to print out whatever our variable is equal to. So make sure you do not put quotes around dollars. Otherwise that won't work. Now this isn't it. What else did we update? Oh yeah, look what they're doing here. We also updated tickets. You see how it says zero tickets? So what's that called? Its ID is tickets label. Tickets label text. Got it. So let me grab set property. Let me do tickets label text. And we're concatenating it with the variable tickets. You can also use this here with the variable tickets, so whatever number tickets is equal to, and then I'm gonna put a space here, tickets, plus the string tickets, right? So now whatever our variable is equal to, and mash it together with a space with the word tickets, so it displays it correctly. That way when we click the button, we add one to tickets, tickets will be equal to what it used to be equal to, plus one. We add the child's price to the dollars we've made. So whatever the dollars used to be equal to plus how much a kid ticket costs. We then set the property. We grab the dollars label. We say, give me that text or I'm going to change that text to this, which is a dollar sign plus that amount that our variable was worth. We do something similar with tickets here and then we play a sound. Let's see if this is working thus far. Adult. There we go. There goes adult. Now let's do child. Ticket, dollars, change, change, boom. And we can slow it down even more to see it in action. So now we need the exact, well, not exact, but pretty close for the senior. So I'm going to go into show text because honestly, I'm going to just highlight all of this and do copy because it's pretty similar. This is where we might use a function sometimes. All right. Ticket equals ticket plus one. Do we want child prize? Nope. This is a senior. We would want senior price and then set the property to dollars yep to the new dollar amount set tickets to the new ticket amount and boom let's give it a shot
Give it a minute to run through here. There we are. And I'm going to hit senior. Boom. Boom. Set property. Boom. And noise. Child ticket. Set property. So we only see it when it updates that property and adult. And you do the math here, 1250, 850, 10. Did we get it right? Hint, yes. Victory. So notice how similar those are. You really do want to pay attention to the counter pattern and concatenation, right? When we put quotes around it, that will push it together the right way. If we were to put quotes around both of these, this is no longer a variable. It's two strings, and it's just going to say the word dollars. See? And that's really important to realize is when you want to use variables, you got to make sure not to have quotes. All right, onward.